Marjorie Guyon is drawn to the intimate landscapes of Kentucky, wooded glens and grassy valleys that provide quiet and peace, places to be still and find solace. Her work provides a restful sense of introspection and relief in a place where it is most needed. In 2002, my brother was injured, critically injured, and he went to a great hospital, but I spent so much time there and there was nothing to look at. And I just thought there should be something really beautiful here for people who are like on the, like on the edge of the roof of their lives. They should have something that can give them some sustenance, which is what I believe art gives you. The public areas are wonderful and, and they're spaces that people pass through. But when you get into that real waiting room environment, when you're there, it becomes your home. And like people that know you come up there and you, you're there at all hours of the day and night. And um, it's not a public space, it's an intensely private space. And it's really, to me, it's at, at least in my experience of a hospital, it's, it's at the heart it's like it's life and death in the trauma waiting room and um, you just need something to hold on to at least I did I needed something to say no matter what it's going to be okay I wanted to give something to the people that were going to be in that waiting room something that I would have liked to have had when I was in a trauma waiting room I wanted to make something that was really understandable and yet was really beautiful and comforting I speak in a lot of languages, and some are very, very abstract, and um, it depends on what I'm doing, what kind of work I'm doing. And so for this, I wanted it to be, when we're in Kentucky, it is a place of the landscape. So I wanted to make something that would be accessible to anybody from Kentucky, which would mean everybody understands about the landscape in Kentucky. And I didn't feel that this was a, an opportunity that I wanted to challenge anybody or make them. I wanted to comfort them. I wanted to comfort them with things that they understood, reinterpreted. So this piece is, um, it's landscape, but the center of it is golden. And um, so it's meant really almost, it's, it's, a, it's, it's supposed to be consoling. A friend of mine told me about this poet named Rumi, and um, he's, I believe, an Arabic poet from many centuries ago, and he had this quote that said, I say to my soul, be still and wait. And that was really the inspiration behind these, and I just thought that might be too many words. So for this one, I just put the word still, which is really what you do when you're in the waiting room. I mean, you j you're still and you're waiting, and you're suspended. And that's what I wanted these paintings to be, that um, there is a feeling of suspension in the landscape. I'm from New York, so I'm really kind of an urban person. But I've lived in Kentucky and I experienced the outdoors. And there is a feeling of being suspended in the light of the sun and just being outdoors and that's the feeling I wanted to give in these that something's holding you and you don't know what it is but it's beautiful. I work with collage which is an image that already exists and these are digitally manipulated images, huge blow-ups of tiny things that are 
reconfigured and reconstructed, and then I use marble dust and pigment to paint over them. So it's layer on layer on layer. To me, it's like looking through veils. That's the feeling I'm trying to give you. I know the feeling I want at the end, and I know the language I want to use. I mean, when I'm doing a commission, which is what this is, you know, when I look at the space and when I see what is supposed to be in this space, what is it that I can bring to this space? So I know the language. And then I just keep working it until I get the feeling right. So no, I didn't know what it was going to look like, but I knew what it was going to feel like. That's what always what I do. I have no idea what it's going to look like, but I know when it's like, that's good. To have a, um, a, a donor that so utterly trusts you, I mean, they, I've made a lot of paintings for them, I've done a lot of commissions for them, and to know that somebody so completely trusts you is, it takes so much stress out of the process. Um, it's like, um, you know, being a parent, I love my kids so much. It's like, she may do some stuff that I'm not sure about, but basically, it's like, I'm 100% with you no matter how you move, no matter what you do. You know, everybody I think does better when they know that they can be seen. Do you, you know, it's like, and when they know that, I, I know they trust me. And when you know that you're trusted, you have enormous freedom. But you are trusted because you are trustworthy. I hope it does its work. I hope it does. That was my, I mean, I've thought about this for years. I'm, I really have thought about having a chance to do something like this since 2002. And um, I really, really hope that it gives comfort to the people that are sitting in those waiting rooms. That, that was the whole reason I wanted to do it. And I hope it does its work well. That my heart is with whoever is sitting in there because I know what it feels like.